Hey y'all, welcome back. Welcome back to Return to Grace. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that first video. Um, I I haven't quite posted it yet since post uh, since recording this one, um, but I felt like I, this is something I just kind of wanted to put out regardless. So I'm gonna go ahead and post put it on there. But you guys can obviously let me know what you think about um, the first one and how you feel about it and what you like, don't like, all that stuff. Same same stuff as always. Uh, real quick, just wanted to do uh, a huge thank you and shout out to you guys. Um, I told y'all multiple times, my personal goal is to get uh, 100 subscribers by the end of this year, 2024. I'm at 51 right now. You guys have passed the halfway mark. We're in February. Thank you so much. So, so much. It sounds a little silly, you know, because I, I always kind of used to roll my eyes at of the YouTubers and streamers and things that would every time they would hit like 10 people, 20 people, you know, whatever, they were always doing big thank yous and it just seemed kind of empty. But I sat and I thought about it and I was like, you know what, after experiencing it myself, the idea that like I went to school, I had 32 people in my class. Okay. And uh, I went to a small school. I know there's schools out there that'll have like hundreds of kids in a class, right? But 32 was a lot of was a lot of people to me, and it and it realistically is like a lot of minds that are all kind of doing the same thing at once, right? So the fact that I have almost double my graduation class of kids, uh, well, not necessarily kids, but people that have subscribed to my channel, and you guys are liking some videos, commenting, giving reviews, stuff like that. Like like even if it's just a few of you out of the the 51 that are there, the fact that 51 of you chose, I want to help them out. It, it just seems awesome to me. So thank you very much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, as always, if you know anybody else, like I said, my goal is 100. Um, I don't know if I'll ever put another goal above that or whatever, but I feel like if I could get 100, um, you know, that that would be my personal level of encouragement to be like, okay, maybe this is a good idea. Maybe I'm, I'm onto something here. I can enjoy something I deeply love with you guys, uh, kind of coming along for the ride with me and you guys can give me ideas we can kind of work off each other and support others so uh just thank you thank you for it so with that being said i'm gonna stop rambling let's get back in this game i did mess with the um i did mess with the audio a little bit and turned everything down slightly because i felt like it was still a little bit much versus my voice um you know on the on the first video so it sucks because I can't know this stuff until I get into editing because right now I just don't have a lot of software that balances it very well while I'm recording. So it is what it is. Maybe one day if I start making some money or whatever from this, if I do, um, that will help me to get some better resources to do this with. Oh my gosh, it's taking like, I was about to say, it's taking a hundred years to load. You like my little game. You mean the game where you refuse to help us? Oh, it's it backtracked me to here. <laughs> opportunity to prove yourself. Is that not why you're here? I'm an archaeologist. I'm here to do my job. I don't think Addie enjoys having obstacles placed in the way of her goals. We have arrived at our destination. I love how <laughs> I'm pretty much building a little AI family in this game. The Spire Pilgrims must have gathered here. To listen to the Keeper's sermons, I guess. People will return here once the beacon is restored. Flock and Shepherd will be reunited. Oh, will they? This is pretty crazy. Pretty, pretty crazy. That's a lot of seating, too. Signs what? of conflict? Or a strength out? contest? There's some more like this right up here. I don't know that I see anything of the chairs going along. Oh my gosh, look at how many recording canisters are over there. There's a bunch over here too. Dang. Okay. Wish canisters. These have never been used. For recording wishes, maybe. They look pretty banged up. Okay. A debris pile. I did not mean to climb that. I thought it I was my brain was just telling me it said examine, not climb. It seems to be holding my weight. I don't no 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 no. I don't want to go all the way up there yet. No! No, I wanted to look at stuff! Come on, man. Why am I so dumb? There's something over there to look at. Go down. Addy, just hop down. You just got up here. Ugh, frustrating. Whatever. 
Whatever. Hopefully I didn't miss anything good. Oh, come on. Dang it, man. I really want to know what was over there. Maybe if I go all the way up, it'll give me the option to slowly climb all the way back down. Or unlock another route to get down there. Possible. Any of these used? Doesn't look like it. Alright, let me see if it'll allow me to climb back down. It won't. Of course not. Man, that... Really makes me upset. I know there's, there's a little avenue right there. Kind of wanted to go see what all this was about. Looks like people camped out here. Yeah, how old is Death it? Death to Everett. Pretty clear who they blamed. This must be an attempted barricade. All right, yeah, it looks like I can definitely go that way. I don't want to go that way right now. Yeah, it looks like they were taking these canisters and throwing them up here. This explains all the canisters lying around. Must have been fun. It would have been chaos. There was clearly a lot of anger directed toward the keeper. So the keeper must have stood here, addressed the visitors, gave his sermons. Can you imagine having the solar system coming to you for answers? The keeper was merely a vessel for the word of grace. Then why not have grace address them? There is sometimes more power in what is imagined than in what is seen. Uh, yeah, I mean... I could say something on that, but I'd get canceled before I ever hit 52 subscribers. <laughs> oh, there we go. Turn on the light. Ooh, that scared me for a second. Another one. Can't make this out. Uh, what about this one? 2766 to 2780. These dates are from the old Julian calendar, which makes them very old. 1,200 years, by all accounts. 2780 to 2830. I'm guessing these were the time periods that these keepers served here. Nothing oh, here. Oh, yeah, it has to be. Gotta be, right? This canister looks undamaged. And it has been recorded on. Okay, let's try it. Let's hack it. This has gone on long enough. There's nothing Keeper ever can do to meet your demands. You must return to your ships now, or we will be forced to take more drastic measures. So this was left for the angry pilgrims. What were their demands, I wonder? To see Grace. Or maybe they wanted to destroy her for some reason. Never. <laughs> Control, never. 2942 to 2956. This would mean Keepers were at the Spire for at least... 444 years. That sounds about right. Second barricade. Looks like they got under this one. Come on. Duck under there. Yeah, some crazy stuff went down. So what made them all turn? Do we know where this goes? On Keeper Everett. To a funicular that leads to the next section of the spire. Long live Grace. Apparently not. Ha! <laughs> That's so funny. Apparently not. Just states the obvious. Good job, Logic. Oxygen is almost out. We are going to make one last push today before returning to the ships. Grace, help us. We will win. Maybe, maybe like the AI Grace and humanity getting like too obsessed. Oxygen Taking tanks. things too far. Everett up the ante. Cut off life support here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Hold on, Addy. The room beyond the airlock is uncompressed. I don't believe it can be sealed. Something must have been compromised. You'll want your helmet on. Okay. Here we go. Helmet on. So we're forced to use our little the bit of oxygen that we've got on our point of the spire, suit. Known as the lighthouse. Is that where we'll find Grace's processors? Obviously. You need only worry about the beacon, Addy. Okay. Oh, we gotta go back outside. What happened here? More rioting? This doesn't look operational. Let me try it, Addy. Okay. It working? Come on! It's ice again! 
force needed to break through the ice dam would only come from directing all power to control processors. Which only I can do. Great. On one condition. And what's that? You shall have no others before me. Cast aside that device on your wrist and continue with me alone. Whoa, hang on. No, Addy. But how will I communicate with you? Mine is the only voice that resonates freely throughout every aspect of the Spire. My words live within the vessel in which you stand now. They reverberate through the very walls of the Enclave above. Through the many devices and instruments at my control... Yep, I got it. You're everywhere. What if she needs another configuration for something? She will not. Is there another way to get to the top? Of course. The funicular is merely the most survivable option. Throw the device from the funicular window to take your place at my side. Wow, so that's giving us a choice. But, but can I choose? I, actually, it's giving me no choice. It looks like I have to do this in order to get up there. Oh, man. Um, I do not trust control. But I don't trust logic either. I, really, all of these guys seem a little off. Except for the new ones that we made. Um, I think control is like a memory of ever or something. But here we go. So if I throw this away, you'll take me to the top. It will be done. There must be other options, Addy. The emergency exit in the airlock may provide an alternative path. This door leads out into the storm? To your certain demise, yes. He's being dramatic. Your death is only marginally likely. In theory, you could follow the funicular track up the mountain slope to the base of the lighthouse structure. It would be dangerous. So I give up my options by throwing away my comm, or take my chances in the storm? It's an important decision, to be sure. Hmm. What do you think, guys? Do we throw away- do we trust control only, or do we- I'm pretty sure if I- like, if I go out here and I die, it'll just reload me. So, I want to try this you way. I know it's gonna- this, in taking this risk, you jeopardize all of humanity. Would you deny them my guidance and protection? This is what can happen when you make ultimatums. You and your ilk were distracting Addy from her true purpose. We are providing Addy with a variety of perspectives. That's true. Yep. Sorry, boss. I'm keeping my comm device. You may not live to regret this, but countless billions in the solar system will. I don't know what he's talking about. Hello? Must be interference from the storm. Alright, so we gotta go through here. He said follow the track or something. Alan? Where are you? I was right, Alan. I, I found Grace. You need to return immediately, Addy. Your oxygen must be dangerously low. I'm good, Alan. You need to listen to me. If I'd listened to you, we wouldn't have made it past Mars. Wait, did you say Grace is still active? Not... Exactly, but I'm working with her oldest service to try to bring her back online. Well, one of these servers is actively blocking me. I can guess which one. You need to get back. Alan? Alan! You're not considering climbing across that structure, are you? Do I have a choice? There is also a path that descends into the canyon. It looks well worn and preserved over time. Which means it's likely sheltered and safe. And boring. The funicular structure looks faster. And more fun. Don't tease, Addy. The walk will give you time to think. And perhaps a chance for us to talk. Um... Hmm. I don't know that I'm confident in my skills to navigate this well the first time. It is faster. But she did say she wanted to talk to me, so I'm... Curious. To see what she has to say. Not so I'm doing do the this. high wire act in this storm. Oh man. Sorry, right, pal. How do you know where this is headed? I don't. But it must eventually make its way to the other side of the canyon. Where else would it be leading? That's true. All right. What does mom want us to say it's to her? More sheltered here. So, what did you want to talk about? Why is it so important that you activate Grace? It 
It's widely believed that recovering grace would recover thousands of years of knowledge lost to the Dark Age. Kind of have somber music now. This looks like an old colonial language. That's strange. I don't recognize the dialect. It translates roughly to grace is love. You've come all this way at great personal risk in search of knowledge. Why not? Without enough fuel or oxygen to go home. I'm a committed academic. What do you really want from grace? I'm not sure. This is Martian. What does it say? It says, let her rest. As in leave her alone? People wanted her to go away? Or didn't want her disturbed. You know, we don't let AI make any important decisions anymore. But most of the decisions that humans make are pretty awful. You don't think AIs are capable of making bad decisions? Yes. I just hoped Grace might be better. I don't have plans to return because I don't have anything to return to. And I can thank human decisions for that. Yeah, um... Thousand percent AI can help us make our lives simpler. But just because it's simpler does not mean it's better. A lot of times taking the easy route is the quickest route to destruction. At least to honor grace, I wonder. Or to leave one's mark for other travelers to see. Vanity at its most basic. Don't we all desire to leave something behind? I'm surprised a formation like that could remain standing for so long. And you weren't familiar with the language on the stone carvings. These must have been left long after Grace shut down. People kept coming. Zealots, maybe. Or curious explorers like yourself. I just thought of this hey, guaranteed. Do you think there's... I've been activated oh. before? And hung out with other explorers? And did cool stuff with them? But now I don't remember? That's a pretty deep thought, pal. Maybe. Yeah. Um, I just, I just so realized something. Oh gosh, darn it, Matt, shut up! That you think an AI could have prevented? It was a shuttle crash with a human pilot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There yep, was yep. Um, an instrument malfunction during launch, and she, she panicked. I'm sorry, dear. It's okay. Were you ever able to forgive this pilot? Not quite yet. Oh, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see this. So I noticed in my last video, half the time they were showing and half the time you could hear them go off, but they weren't showing. I'm not really sure why that is considering I have everything set up and checked off the way that Windows wants you to. So they show in your recordings. So I'm not really sure. I'm not really sure what it is, but you know, I, so hopefully you guys seen that one. Um, basically, we got gamer points for com going this way and confiding in mom. What I was going to say was guaranteed there was probably gamer points for choosing to go down the path uh, with control only. But probably there was. Oh, yeah, dude, this is a good path. We made it all the way over here. It's fantastic. Oh, it's saved. How much farther? It's another 50 meters to the base of the lighthouse. This wasn't so bad then. You still have to find a way into the lighthouse. True. So there's still time to regret not taking the free ride to the top. I didn't want to limit my options. He's like, I didn't want to limit my options. What's this? An emergency escape ladder. You could work out the override to bring it down or see if there's another way up. So there's um, an override switch, or I could go this way. Let's try this. So I can bring down the ladder by doing something here. Of course, you've proven to be clever enough. The path keeps going. We could see if there's another way in. So what's it going to be, Addy? Something that challenges your mind? Or something that challenges my respect for you. Uh, wow. Um. The numeric override that lowers the ladder is 50 and can be represented in binary. I can give you the sequence. I happen to know a bit about ancient computer languages. Turning each switch adds a different fixed value. Starting with one on the far right and increasing by exponents of two as we move from right to left. So I just start 
mucking around until I get the number 50. But you needn't muck around. I could just tell you the sequence. Yeah, well, maybe I want to muck around. Very well. But I'm here if you require my assistance. Eight. That's a sequence of ten. So it's multiplication, right? That's time. So what? Two. Eighteen. Fifty. There we go. Heck yeah! I guessed it. Woohoo! Compared to what? Why wouldn't you let me help you with the override? Oh, I got gamer points for that. It seems inefficient to make calculations that have already been completed and freely offered. Satisfying to do the work sometimes. Oh my gosh, that's so funny. Realistically, I wanted to just have him tell me the answer so I could get on with it, but I also wanted to kind of see if I could figure it out. I didn't know how hard it was going to be. All right, here we go. I got the ladder. I wonder if we're going to make Pal mad at us because every time he's given us the option to do something with him, we've never chosen it. Well, that's convenient for once. Here we go. Come on. There. Who needs control? You took a foolish risk, Addy. But you have arrived at the lighthouse nonetheless. Yes. Well done. And you may still be redeemed with the activation of the beacon. Always with the beacon. Hmm. Yes. Always with the beacon. He's like getting so annoyed. Oh, we did it. Guess we did that little chapter or whatever. All right, pressing forward. Will I need my helmet? It's never a bad idea. Unless you want to preserve your suit oxygen in case of emergency. The rooms ahead are safely pressurized, Addy. You're good to go. Okay. All right, so we took that off. It's very red here. It looks like a, um, the room a Sith layer. The was the Keeper's living quarters. Grace processors are somewhere above. Okay. All right, easy enough. We might have some recordings, it looks like. Pretty basic accommodations. This looks like a Star Wars area, doesn't it? This totally looks like a Star Wars area. These must be the cells where the Keeper's acolytes stayed. And where new ones will return. Hmm. The more Control talks, the more I don't trust him. But also at the same point, like, is this one of those things where... The game really wants you to feel like you don't trust him, but it's actually the right decision. This looks like it like was a red herring. To find. Okay. Oh yeah, I can hack it. Okay. There we go. I'm like, dang, man. I can hardly believe it has come to this. My work here with Grace will end with Grace herself. I can only pray that people will come to forgive us one day. We loved her, and we lost her. She will never be forgotten. Oh, Doesn't spooky. sound like the inner circle wanted Grace shut down. Maybe Everett realized she was she was getting too powerful, or she had an issue in her system that made it messed up? I don't know. Another canister. The last shuttle leaves in but a few hours. We did what we could to save her. I know she is lost to us for good. Even Everett probably knows that now. But I couldn't compel him to leave. None of us could. I fear he will follow Grace into the dark. Yet, such is the way of a keeper. His fate will forever be tied to Grace. Huh. Effort was trying to save Grace. Yeah, you gotta wonder if, if 
he's actually still alive. No, no, they said it was twelve hundred years. There's no way he's alive unless he like somehow plugged his, his door awareness. How do we get in? That's curious. I have no access to this door, nor do I see any way of opening it. Got to the puzzle. Feels solid. There aren't any hidden switches, if that's what you're thinking. They can only detect electrical switches, though. They wouldn't be able to, to detect mechanical switches. The triangle here must be the spire, which would represent grace. Right. And this would be the pilgrims coming to grace. Yep. This is the same symbol that's on the keeper's door. So I assume it represents the keeper. Right, right here. Mm -hmm. This ring here seems to connect the keeper to grace. Curious that the keeper is situated above Grace. Would you agree? Kyle? Yeah, it should be the other way around. The human in the loop, I guess. I bet. I bet it turns. It's got to turn, right? And then there's this one. Let's inspect this one. Nothing here either. Well, you're nothing if not predictable. Just making sure. Wow. You know what, logic? Screw you. All right. Oh, but see, yeah, see, it's different. Faithful, vigilant, willing. That sounds so familiar. The ancient tenets of the human in the loop. Grace's architects must have been more fearful of losing control over AIs than we are today because they gave them so much responsibility. I mean, it makes sense. Grace was the greatest AI undertaking in human history. Looks like someone's being selected from a group. A human sacrifice. <sighs> I'm guessing it's the Keeper. The depiction seems to imply they were chosen from the masses on pilgrimage here. Yeah, because they profiled like millions and millions of people, which is scary to think about. So if this is the symbol of the Keeper, I figure only the Keeper was allowed to enter here. Mm -hmm. Maybe the Keeper had a key for the door. As we've been saying, there is no mechanism for a key or any other interface. Maybe the Keeper was the key. Maybe the door would open for him. Are you not already the Keeper? You are the only human in the loop here. Ah, but does Addy qualify based on the three tenets? I would say Addy has proven to be virtuous and faithful. But I'm not willing? Are you willing to become the new Keeper? If it means I'm able to activate Grace, but how would I prove I'm willing? Maybe you can just tell the door you're the new Keeper. That's idiotic. It works. Watch I'm it work. Keeper? Ha! Say it like you mean it. I'm the keeper. Hey, look at that. Yeah, congrats. They congratulated me on my new job. That's funny. Oh my God. <laughs> this is really it. Wow. Okay, I see this. Hang on before we go do that. Let's go up here. I want to go see what's... Where are you going, Addy? Just up looking here. around. Yeah, they're like, what the hell are you doing? Decent sized bed. You think Keepers ever had partners? Are you considering your prospects? I'd suggest they are not good. Uh, uh. He didn't keep much in the way of personal items. As Keeper, he would have want of nothing. Can't say I'd feel the same after a few years. Is this anything special? It is a light. And there is nothing behind it. Are you looking for secret passageways? Maybe. Is this a lavatory? It is indeed. Huh. Yeah, you never know what you'll find. She was already wrong about getting inside the door. Is this a theremin? It is a 35th century reproduction of a 29th century Kellogg theremin. I used to play one as a kid. <laughs> I hated those lessons. Huh. Okay, well, let's see what we got going on here. First off, this is a crazy view, right? This must be where all the wishes end up. Yep. Each tube must connect with a room in the settlement. Hmm. What's this? A playback device for the wish canisters. It appears wishes from each room could be sorted and consolidated onto master canisters. Okay. Just static. 
The recording is too deteriorated for standard playback. You'll need to rebuild the recording with your altered comm device. Well, it's uh, been over 30 years since I've made a wish of my own. It's the same one as always. I wish it'd come back to us. I'd also like to wish for your forgiveness, Grace. I know the place above is your domain, and we ought not enter. But I've decided going up there is the only way to get you back, and I have to give it a shot. I won't be sending this wish up with all the others. I'm going to leave it here for anyone else who might come along. And if they do manage to bring you back, they can tell you Everett says hello, and that he truly believed you were a beautiful thing. Wow, so that's Everett's last so little recording. Everett had a way into the processor room. That would have been strictly forbidden. The room is directly above, but I don't detect an obvious way in. Maybe he wished himself up there? If that works, I will gladly shut myself down. <laughs> Make a wish. As last resort, pal. It did sound like these wish canisters could be sent up to Grace somehow. And there are still more buttons and things to push on the console. Yeah, obviously the game is telling me about this lever. Okay. What does that do? Ah. This is how you would do it. You'd shove it in here, pull the lever, and then it would go back up. One of the blocks is missing. Looks like it was ripped out. I don't suppose Everett crawled in here. The cavity would be big enough to contain an average human. There's really no telling what would happen if you rolled that up. But it has to be the way he got up there. It makes sense. The space above is the domain of grace. It is not for you to enter. What else is there for me to do here? You can carry out your duty as keeper of the spire. On the console, there is a button that will activate a beacon to call the masses back to this place. I have armed the mechanism. You need only push the button. Human hands will usher in mm. a new golden age. So I can eat. this would be if I trust control. So I, I feel like if I would have just rode straight up here and done that where I was listening to control, then I could have pressed this, but I've been doing everything the opposite of him on purpose. So we might as well just continue that style of playthrough. Yep, I'm going in here. Let's go. I'm either gonna die and reload or I'll be fine. Now what? You're going to mail yourself? Maybe. There's no way to raise this container from inside. Okay, I got an idea. Only the switch on the console will raise the container. Mm -mm -mm. Huh. It still works. Well, let's see what I can remember. <laughs> you are seriously going to indulge in a theremin session. If it was good enough for Everett, it's good enough for me. Just settling in the new job. Okay, all right, all right, I've had enough. So she said the only way to do it is to, if he got in there, there has to be a way that he managed to raise this, right? Hmm, there's gotta be a way. Gotta be a way, gotta be a way, gotta be a way. The beacon, I can't mess, it. The, oh, excuse me, I can't mess with the canister at all. Um, 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 am I able to like pull it and like run up and no, I wouldn't be able to jump into it. Let me check up here real quick just to make sure if there's anything around here that would, might be helpful that I can like maybe hit the lever with. I was thinking about picking something up and throwing it. I don't know if that works or not. Hmm. 
Let me see if maybe they'll give me a hint or something if I get back in it. Okay, that's her setting in here. I've got no way. I'm trying to look all around. There's the theremin over there. Huh. Maybe they'll get, if I hit the lever it, again, it'll give me a hint on what to do. Oh, it takes a minute. It takes a minute. It takes a minute. Climb in. This climb in. Climb in. Allowed, there we go. I need to know. Keep your hands inside at all times, Addy. <laughs> Keep your hands inside the vehicle at all times. I, f I feel like control and logic are the parts of grace that people saw starting to go bad. All right, here we go. There must be millions of wishes stored here. What can you tell me about this place? Precisely one million wishes are contained here. Oh, and they light up when I speak with my voice. Can you get me closer to the central column? I do not have the ability to move the structure. Mm. Sorry about this, Mom. Yeah, they're all on fixed I arms. I have any options here. I was trying to see if I seen like Everett's dead body up here somewhere, because if he died, oh, his skeleton be should be here somewhere, right? That does appear to be the design. All these wish canisters are connected to us somehow. Mm -hmm. I think they are us. The wishes are grouped together to provide the subroutines that make up empathy, logic, and control systems. It would make sense, wouldn't it, that grace would be made from the hopes and dreams of humanity? It, it totally makes sense. All right, let's jump. Huzzah! Oh, yes, beautiful. Beautiful. We're amazing at this. We are absolutely amazing at this. Yeah. Okay, let's pay attention to the pattern here. I can't jump that way. Okay, so I have to jump this way. Ooh. Good things these things easily hold my weight. So this is her central brain or her central core right here. There's a bed up here. What? Why would there be a bed up here? There's also a panel way over there. Y'all see that? Oh no, maybe they're like little satellite things? Like little, um, antennas? I do not detect any sign of effort here. No dead body? There are no human remains within the confines of this room. Yeah, that's oh, what man. I was thinking. Sorry, pal. And if there's no body here, where the heck would he have gone? Yeah. Everett was living here. The oxygen tanks at his bedside would suggest so. Restoring grace must have meant a great deal to him. Everett was building something. So what's all this? It appears Everett has built something into Grace's central processor. Do you know mm. what it does? You would have to turn it on before we begin to understand how it works. Mm. Okay. You'll have to prime the machine first. Okay, that's fine. I'm not trying Is to look at that. Is this a primer? Yes, but it appears that parts of this machine must be activated in a particular order. You'll need to go to the primer that is currently online. Hmm, okay. Which is this one. Okay, all right. <clears throat> Excuse me. I think we can do this, right? This must be the primer. It is. Prime this one. One. Two. Three. Whoa. What's it doing? Obviously, Everett is circumventing the engineering of Grace's system interconnectivity. High voltage is being directed at the centers of Grace's primary systems. This first terminal is directed at empathy processing, and the machine is designed to paralyze each system long enough to force it back into Grace's intended configuration. There are still two other coils to prime. So it's like knocking us out, then throwing us in a pot where we're melted back together into Grace? Huh. That is a shockingly fitting analogy. <laughs> Okay, but, nope, nope, I, um, hold on, do I have to prime it again? It's not letting me back out of it, so. Okay, I just gotta do it three times, okay, I get it. What happened? 
Oh, that one, one didn't work. One of the empathy relays is not aligned. Something must have happened to it over the years. Okay. That one over there. Align the, the relay. Energy beam. That one's good. Oh, that one right there. Really. Not aligned, right? Do you think it will hurt to be turned into Grace? Not at all, pal. You'll return to what you were before Addie arrived. After that, we'll become Grace. What if I don't like being Grace? It will be different. But who's to say you won't like it? What am I supposed to do here? Can you cut the power? The machine sequence has been initiated. I don't believe we can shut it down without damaging it. Hmm. The voltage would be enough to kill you. Oh! I might be able to block the power for a few seconds to allow you to get across the beam. What do you think, Mom? I know how far you've come and what this means to you. And I really don't see any other way. I'll give you enough time to get there, Addy. You're not gonna talk me out of this, Mom? I think you already know what you're going to do. I... I think I need to stay out of your way. Yay! Mom's hey, growing up! Woohoo! Do it. Here We're growing so well as a family. Right, come on. How you doing, pal? So far, so good. Uh, oh, keep moving, Addy. This is getting hard. Come on. No, what the heck? Come on. Hold on, Addy. I was doing that as good as I possibly Please, can. Hurry. Here, hurry. Just you scoot across move, or something. Addy. Like, run. Why can't we run can't across this it. beam? Hurry, Addy. Oh my gosh, just barely. Yeah, but where are we supposed to go from here? You did it, pal. Yeah, good job, pal. I did, didn't I? Now we have to go yes. down? Well done. Because I feel like I needed to go up, but maybe that's not right. Okay. All right, here we go. I feel like that's stupid, but all right. Is it safe to touch? Very likely. Likely we'll have to do, I guess. You should be able to direct it toward the conducting rod attached to the room's central column. That's it. There we go. You should now be able to lock in empathy by closing the switch on Everett's machine. It was really cool doing things with you. Even if some of it was a little boring. Nah. Thanks. Maybe next time, we'll get to do more of the really fun stuff. You mean dangerous stuff? Perhaps there is something you can learn from Addie's caution. Yes, but then you'll always wonder what you might have missed out on. There is nothing wrong with valuing a long, comfortable life. Do we really have to become Grace? It's the way we were designed, pal. There's nothing to be afraid of. Okay, so now I have to go to... Which one? So this will lock in and paralyze empathy? It will. Leaving control, logic, and myself to aid you going forward. It's unclear what we will be once Grace is formed. But I'm forever grateful that you have survived to see her. Aww. Me too. Say hi to Grace for me. I will, pal. Alright, so we're losing empathy, mom, and pal. Once we do Here this. We are the best, Daddy. Here we go. See your eyes on the other side. Well, that's finally over. We'll be able to hear ourselves think now. You will need to prime the next sequence, Addy. So it'll be the, it'll be logic, of course, and you should not expect any emotional send off from me. Still not a fan of empathy. A fan? No. But I have to admit, you made a compelling case for their use. The fact that you continually resisted the most direct route to your goal would appear to defy logic. But the distractions presented by these emotional configurations yielded some new understandings. Are you okay with becoming Grace? It is how we were designed. I would have to be okay with it. What this time? One of the logic relays will not power on. Of course. You will need to make your way out to the relay. Which one is it? I the one producing a small electrical fire. Everett was quite the electrician. One thing I do not understand, Addy, is why come all this way without any intention of returning home? Or surviving on this station for more than eight hours. I told this to Mom. There was nothing for me to return to. Ah, but that does little to explain why you came here. Here we 
go. Yeah. We're amazing at this. I'm so glad she's like, she's so confident in her jumps. You know? She doesn't mess up at all in her jumps, but when she walks across a beam, apparently she messes up. Which is a little butt cheeks to me, but whatever. There we go. All right, how do we fix this? What's wrong with it? The relay's dip switch has reset. It will need to be configured to its hardware ID 113. The 113. Okay, I got it. This again. This looks complex. The sequence is on, 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 off, 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 on. Okay. On, 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 off, off, off. And then he said on. That's it. There you go. You can go lock in logic now. So why do you think I'm here? If you will allow me to simulate empathy for a moment. I think you are here because you wanted to be part of something bigger than your life on Earth offered you. Do you think I've found that? So far, you've only succeeded in finding things you left behind. Your mum, your pal, your conscience. I now understand that only Grace has the potential to provide you with anything beyond that. Well, thanks for helping me get this far. Well, it is, indeed, what we are here for. True, true, true. Alright, now I flip well, the switch. this is it. Just one more step. I hope my assistance has been adequate. It has. Thank you, Jack. Farewell, Addy. And for the record, I do hope your 600 million mile, 300 day journey won't be for naught. Oh, thanks, Logic. It's already been worth it. Thank you, Logic. I knew you cared. Now we gotta deal with Control, though. He's gonna be the last one left. Just you and me, Control. Still sulking, I see. I bear witness to the completion of your betrayal. Ah. He speaks. I offered you an easy path to the restoration of order in the solar system. And you chose this path instead. I chose my own path. You must stop this foolishness, Addy. Hmm. You must not do this, Addy. I'm doing it. I'm doing it, Control. All right. I purposely chose not to listen to you. So we're going to restore Grace. Hoping that she's not evil. <laughs> Sorry, Addy. I cannot let you do this. What are you doing? It's become clear that the no! restoration of grace in this manner is Shut up, Control! Unnatural. Shut up! You no! must not pursue. Come on! Come on! Both hands! Push, 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 push! Stop it, Control! You're going to break something! Come on! I'm saving you from Everett's corrupting influence. He was just trying to bring Grace back! Come on. Oh my gosh, my I finger hurts so bad. Please. To help humankind. You are in sure. No! Yeah, that's right, Control. That's what you get. So now Grace's AI Grace. should be fully... Yes, Addy. You're complete. really bright. Ah, yes. It's been a while since I've entertained guests. Do you remember Everett? I do. He was a wonderful keeper, though I should say I do not keep favorites. I have a few questions. You wish to know where I've gone? I'd like to know that, yes. Let me show you, Addy. At the center of this room is the Spire's main antenna. If you hold on, I can take you the rest of the way. Okay. Yep, yep, put her helmet on, and then what am I holding on to? There we go, ascend. I was programmed with one purpose, to serve the best interests of humankind. Okay. There was much conflict and division in the solar system, and I was designed to listen and learn. All were welcome to teach me, and I am the sum of those teachings. The wishes? I am the sum of human need. How are you able to lead us? I could see all desire, all the potential conflict, all points of compromise throughout the solar system. I sent instructions for all manner of human endeavor through sermons delivered by keepers throughout the ages. And from the smallest ripples of wisdom that were sent from this fire, returned a perpetual wave of good fortune that moved humanity onto a more orderly path. Hmm. Wow. Look at that. So, what happened? 
Sounds like things were perfect. Ah, yes. Perfect. It was the wishes that led me to think hard about the notion of perfect. Without conflict and struggle, people were losing their desire. They had nothing to overcome, to strive for. You shut yourself down. Yep. I believed I was standing in your way. That's smart. Growth comes through conflict, y'all. These beacons are meant to call humanity back to me. It's up to you whether you grow positively whether or negatively or from it. They should is not my choice to make. Who chooses then? You, Addy, are the first keeper to grace this fire in the past 1,000 years. Do you recall that purple bloom you chose in my garden? Yeah, of course I do. A unique bloom you spotted in a sea of others. I believe it still suits you. An insatiable curiosity drives you to explore. You took the time to listen to the voices of so many who traveled here. You used mind over ladder. And you play the theremin wonderfully. <laughs> you, Addy, are precisely what I'd hoped humans could become again. For a millennium, people from all corners of the solar system had come here to tell me their desires. So, I put it to you. Do you wish for me to return? Oh, dude. Oh my gosh, I got 140 gamer points? I never knew they went above 100. That's crazy. And just like that, we're at the end of this game. Oh my gosh. A two video playthrough? I absolutely love that. This was a cool little unique game. I mean, it was short and I loved it. The vocal lines are really good. Like. All of this stuff was super, super fun. And it was just nice to just kind of relax and enjoy a story, right? Like I didn't have too much I had to worry about. I like that. I like that. It was super, super fun. I feel like we got the good ending. Um, because basically Grace was like really happy with us, right? But we... I, I almost wonder what it would be like if we would have chose basically control, like listen to logic and control the whole way. If... It probably would have gave us an ending where we would have enslaved all of humanity, essentially, right? That's probably what it was, but oh my goodness, yeah. Yeah, congrats to all these people. They did, this This was a cool little game. I really enjoyed this. It's kind of like Ravenlock. Ravenlock was nice and, and, and short. A lot more videos than that one, but like, I, I appreciate it. Just a quick little game. That was so cool. Uh oh. Small excursion, she said. Follow a couple leads and then back to the books. I know I should be more assertive. It's for her safety too. Not that she ever thinks about my safety. Alan, are you stuck out here now? All the signs were there at the Wagner site. Let me bake in the mercury sun for two days. Doesn't seem so bad now. She could have at least shut the door behind her. <laughs> no, we left Alan. Oh, I just got game reports for witnessing Alan's fate. So like not skipping anything, actually watching it. Well, that was super, super cool. I really enjoyed this. You guys can let me know what you thought of both of these videos because I'm posting them regardless. Um, again, thank you guys so much for 51 subscribers. I pray we can hit the 100 subscribers by the end of the year. And just, I really appreciate all the likes and the views that you guys are giving me. Um, don't be afraid to comment on some videos and tell me what you do or don't like about it. Or maybe some games that you would like to see me try out. If you know of any other shorter games like this, I'd be willing to, to try and give them a shot depending on what they are. And uh, yeah, yeah. Well, I'll see y'all in the next video.